four says a typical North American adult consumes 200 milligrams of caffeine per day. So that's in your coffee, your tea, your chocolate. Okay. And the half-life of caffeine is six hours. And so what half-life means is that after every six hours, half of the previous amount is left over. Okay. So let's complete the table of values. So we have time, we have mass of caffeine. So because the half-life of caffeine is six hours, it makes sense to go up by six hours for time, every six hours. So it's six, 12, 18, 24. Okay, and now after six hours, there's only half left. So what's half of 200? 100. And another six hours, what's half of 100? 50. What's half of 50? 25. What's half of 25? 12.5. So again, every six hours, the amount of caffeine divides by two or halves. Okay, and now let's graph the data. So we always want to start with our x and y axis. And this is the time in hours. And this is mass in milligrams. And I forgot the title last time, but caffeine left after time, certain amount of time. That's okay. Okay, so let's graph the data and draw the line of best fit. So we have 0, 200. So along, along the x-axis, we can actually go up by 6s. Let's go every 2 is 6. And we can go up by 6s because it's constant. That's also what our x's go up by, so it's going to make life really easy. However, in this one, we can see that... The caffeine is not decreasing by the same amount. So we have to get all the way up to 200. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We can do 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200. And now let's plot 0, 200. 6 comma 100 and just make sure that you actually go over 6 which um, on my graph is 2 blocks 12 comma 50 um, 18 comma 25 24 comma 12.5 and for this one this is definitely not a line of best fit this is going to be a curve of best fit so we did a curve of best fit so this is definitely non-linear Okay, but we can do the same thing. We can do the, the interpolation and extrapolation because we want to know approximately how much caffeine will remain after nine hours. The line is right here. Let's draw up and over. I get 75 milligrams. And how much caffeine will um, exist after 36 hours? So 24. This would be 30. And 36 would be way over here. If you can fit it on your graph. On the graph, it looks like there would be maybe 10. But if you extended this to 30 and then 36, this would be 6.25. And then this would be 3.125. Yeah, so I'm actually off by a lot, but extend your graph, I get, calculating it, I get 3.125.